Hello dear students, in this class we will be seeing the steps for designing FIR filter by Fourier series method. What do you mean by designing of FIR filter? It is to find capital H of Z. Ok, so let us see the steps required for designing FIR filter. Designing FIR filter means we need to get the equation of H of Z. Okay. The first step is the frequency response H of e to the power j omega of a system is periodic in 2 pi. So, this frequency response H of e to the power j omega is periodic for a period of 2 pi. So, what will be given in the question? The desired frequency response of an FIR filter is given as HD of e to the power j omega. HD of e to the j omega is known as desired frequency response of a FIR filter. So, based on this desired frequency response, we have to calculate the second step, the Fourier coefficient. The Fourier coefficient HD of n are the desired impulse sequence, impulse response sequence of the filter. And how can we find HD of n? And we know Fourier inverse of HD of e to the power j omega, Fourier inverse of desired frequency response gives HD of n that is a Fourier coefficient. The formula for HD of n is 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi to pi HD of e to the power j omega dot e to the power j omega n d omega. So, based on desired frequency response, we have to compute the Fourier coefficient. And if you in find the z transform of this Fourier coefficient, it will come as h of z. h of z that is z transform is formula is n is uh, summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity h d of n z to the power minus n, but it is a non causal filter of infinite duration. What is our target? Our target is to design an FIR filter, FIR stands for finite impulse response, its impulse response must be finite, but this is giving an infinite. So, what we have to do next? To get the third step is to get the FIR filter transfer function, the series can be truncated. So, this H T of n which is of infinite duration is truncated to H of n based on this formula. H of n is equal to H D of n for n mod n less than equal to n minus 1 by 2, 0 otherwise. The filter coefficient of infinite duration is truncated to H of n based on this formula. The fourth step is to find h of z, the transfer function h of z is given by. So, we have seen this h of z formula here and by substituting this h of n here and simplifying, we will get this equation of h of z. h of z is equal to h of 0 plus summation small n is equal to 1 to capital N minus 1 by 2 h of n z to the power minus n plus h of minus n z to the power n. And we know for a symmetrical impulse response having symmetry at n is equal to 0, we can write h of minus n is equal to h of n. Okay? So, so this h of n and h of minus n both are same for a symmetrical impulse response. So, we have removed these two and we have written the formula as like this h of z is equal to h of 0 plus summation n is equal to 1 to capital N minus 1 by 2 taking h of n common z to the power n plus z to the power minus n. This transfer function h of z is not physically realizable, is not physically realizable. Why? Because it is having positive powers of z. So, realizability can be obtained by multiplying z to the power minus n minus 1 by 2 
which is h dash of z. So, h of z is not physically realizable, we have to make this h of z to be realizable that can be designed. So, we have multiplied this h of z with z to the power minus of n minus 1 by 2 to get, get h dash of z. h dash of z is equal to z to the power of minus of n minus 1 by 2 substituting h of z here h of 0 plus summation n is equal to 1 to n minus 1 by 2 h of n z to the power of n plus z to the power minus n. So, let us quickly see what are the main steps of designing FIR filter. FIR stands for finite impulse response, it should have finite impulse response. So, H d of e to j omega is given that is known as desired frequency response will be given. We based on this desired frequency response, you have to compute H d of n that is a desired impulse response, desired frequency response, desired impulse response you have to compute based on the formula 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi 2 pi H d of e to j omega e to the j omega n d omega. And based on this desired impulse response, you have to compute H of n that is a truncated filter, truncated desired impulse response, truncated impulse response because we are designing FIR filter. This H d of n is of infinite duration, we have to truncate it. So, we are getting H of n after that. And based on this h of n, we are finding its z transform to get h of z. But this h of z is not physically realizable. So, we are multiplying this h of z with z to the power of minus of n minus 1 by 2 with h of z to get h dash of z. So, these are the steps to be followed for designing FIR filter. First, compute h d of n desired impulse response truncated impulse response, transfer function which is not physically realizable, h dash of z transfer function which is physically realizable. So, our target is to get h, d, h dash of z. I hope you have understood the class. Thank you. Good luck students.